everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 232. I'm Aileen. I'm on the wrong side. No, you're on the right side. I mean, this I'm George. Really, what? Who? What are you? Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to design of vinyl, plush, action figures, uh, events, how-tos, collectibles, Lego, whatever we can get our hands on, we bring it to you. Let's start out, as always, by thanking our site sponsors like DKE Toys. Mr. Toast. 3D Retro. Paysaver. Grumpy Burt. Happy Panda Toys. Black Sheep Button Company. Button Lab. Art Attack Toys. Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. <laughs> ESC Toy. ESC Toy. More art than toy. And Super Power Collectibles. Thank you, thank you to all of our site sponsors. Be sure to go to our site, toybreak.com, and you can click on all of their links on the left-hand side of the page. It's fun. It's fabulous. It's free to look. Enjoy supporting them. Uh, we have a few donations to thank for. Actually, it. we have a couple, because a couple denotes two, a few denotes three. Hit it, Steve. Uh, James from Texas and Squire from Kentucky. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the donations. And also... Kentucky, we represent. In, in the house? No. On the couch? No. Uh, so we were talking about how cool it would be to have, like, a map and, like, all the donations that came in. We could start marketing them. Okay. But we were saying we'd like to do it just in the month of September, but that doesn't always give people a lot of time to, to watch. To watch, because some people may not watch right away when a show comes out or this or that or whatever. So uh, we started a map. We did. There it is. So these are donations uh, where they've come in from the United States since September 1st of 2012. We're going to keep this map at least through the end of the year, I okay. think. And we're going to try to fill it. Like, actually, I don't care how long we keep it. Let's just try to fill it. Let's, we got to give it a timeline, year. though. Like Okay, end of the year. Uh, I mean, if we, if we need then, to go a little longer... Once we fill the United States, we can get a map of the world. Toy Break will take then, over the world. And then... The moon? We will steal Where's the ben? moon. <laughs> ben, we ben, need you here to take over the moon. <laughs> All right, so that's where we're at with that. Thank you to everybody who's been donating. Uh, regular donations, don't worry. When yours comes around, you will be put on the map. We should automatically start the world one because we have more view we have viewers we all over. All right, next week or sometime in the near future, we'll bring out a new <laughs> map that has the world on it because we don't want to eliminate the people that are outside the U.S. No, we love them. We started it as a U.S. thing, but let's do it all over. But we're going to keep that U.S. one too. Okay. Because like then the U.S. is already done if we count it like that. Right. So we're going to keep the U.S. one so and we'll then have... we'll open up the world map. So why don't we do like a checking in at the U.S. and then checking in with the world. Done. Can we do like a little segment where you're like at a news desk and you're like trucking in with the world? <laughs> but you have to have like a trench. No coat news is good news without George's checking in. GNU? News. Do we have a contest going on? <laughs> something like that. Custom key contest. This is by Carson Catlin. To enter, simply head over to the contest section on the forum, the one that says custom key contest, and post a picture of a drawing of a bear. Is that too many things? A picture How about of just a drawing, a drawing of a bear? <laughs> It doesn't well, have to technically, be a, I, guess I guess it would it's a be picture a picture of a drawing of a bear. Of a bear. Um, or, you know, you can have, if, if you customize a, a key yourself and you want to put that in, that's fine too. Someone did that, I think. If it's a bear key. As long as it's a bear, yeah. Um, or what if it's a cat key, but they make it a bear? Okay. It <laughs> has to be a bear. Deadline is October 17th. Cat bear. And don't forget to follow at Carson Catlin on Twitter. At and Carson Cat Bear. <laughs> check out... <laughs> Wouldn't it be Berlin? You take out the cat and replace it with Berlin. Oh, mine was funnier. At Carson Berlin. Uh, <laughs> and don't forget like to thing. check out Carson's custom dunnies available at Tenacious Toys at New York Comic Con, booth 3121. Booyah. Speaking of Tenacious Toys, let's get into the news. Let's get into the news. All news is good news with Gary Gnu. That's somebody else's news. Damn! It's already What's taken. our news? Um, Toy break. It's sad. No, I'm just kidding. This game. <laughs> it's not sad. Uh, it's you awesome. remember Tenacious Toys? I've heard of them. Well, this is Uncle Arg Noir, and they are arriving. Noarg. No, Uncle Arg Noarg. Uh, this is Scott Tolson and Toy 2 R, and there was a successful Kickstarter campaign for this monotone version of Uncle Arg. Nice. And they are starting to come out, and then they will be for sale starting September 19th. Is that correct? Beautiful. TenaciousToys.com. You're already on top of it. TenaciousToys.com. Oh, yeah. Look at that awesome. 
I, I like the packaging yeah. too. No need to review it because we already reviewed one of these, but we did the color one. So this is the same thing, but. So picture that, but black and white. Black and white. Um, <laughs> and We're so thorough on this show. Also, coming out very soon, Micro Money World by Kid Robot. These new two-inch blind box versions of Money World characters, uh, Money and Raffi, will be available in red, yellow, white, cyan, and blue this November for $7 each. More money. No money. You were just, I'm going to keep opening. Oh, okay. Lunartic in a Cup of Tea miniseries number two. Coming straight at you by Matt Jones, or Jonas, as he's known on this show. Featuring 12 fresh flavors, four special brews, and one super rare cuppa, this series gives tea aficionados 17 new styles to collect in all new takeaway cups. Very cool new packaging. $10 each. You can check them out at lunartic.com. I like these little guys. We've had series one on the show before. I like the little, the little teacups. Yeah, tea. I think they're cool. And they have fun flavors. Uh, we have a voicemail, but I think we should listen to it while we're doing blind box time. Okay. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> all right, so we're going to start blind box Does time. Does it relate? No. Okay. Not at all. All right. Oh, wait, I missed a news item. What is it? Um, you guys go to Target if you live in the U.S. I'm not sure where to go if you live outside of the U.S. And they have a really cool poly bag Lego set in the Halloween section. You have to go to the Halloween section on an end cap. It's $3.99. It has the new glow-in-the-dark Lego ghost with a ball and chain and a little grandfather clock. Four bucks. Great price, right? Well, this is also the cheapest way to get the new ghost right now. The, che the other cheapest set is the $80 ghost train. I'll get this one. This one's four dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the ghost is also in the ha the haunted house that I did, but that's a hundred and eighty dollars. So Floating action not $4. included. Floating action not included. But also, this is the only set that you can get one by one modified reddish brown bricks. Hmm. Four bucks, and you get exclusive stuff, and it's the cheapest place to get the ghost. So, so that's get fun. it. Target. I love them. Okay, so today we're doing more. We did these last week, but there's a lot of Series 8 minifigures from LEGO. So we're going to open some more of these, and while we're opening, we will listen to a voicemail from Mike. The smooth sounds of Mike. <laughs> hey, it's Mike from Indiana. Um, been a long time watcher, I guess. It's nice that you're up to the number of episodes that you've been, and I've been a big fan. And uh, one of the episodes, it was Ben, and he was wearing a Johnny Cupcakes t-shirt, and you featured some of the Johnny Cupcakes items on there. And I got to see Johnny Cupcakes when he was in Chicago the last time he was at one of these bakeries. And this time, he's coming back to Chicago. He's doing a coffin tour instead of a suitcase tour, and he's bringing his limited items. But he's going to uh, Roto Fugi. I think that's how you say it. And Chicago this time, and I was there a couple of years ago when it was at its old location. I saw some things there, which was really nice, and I saw some of those that you feature on your uh, show, and I'm kind of a big uh, fan of vinyl, but I really don't collect toy vinyl. As of right now, I only have a couple pieces, but um, I plan on using your Amazon link sometime because I do collect other vinyls, such as uh, records, because I'm a record collector, and I guess that's what I go more for Chicago for. And I've been wanting to go back to Roto Fuji and Fuji and see what else they have in stock, some of the great pieces that you happen to show on uh, Toy Break. So uh, thanks for keeping everything great, and maybe with you guys, I'll expand my collection, and I'll tell you how my trip went. Uh, talk to you later. This is Mike from Indiana. Thank you, Mike from Indiana. Thanks, Mike from Indiana. So, Johnny Cupcakes, Ben cares about that. Yeah, we need Ben on the show for that kind of talk. <laughs> I don't give a crap about any of that. Uh, uh, but Roto Fuji. Actually, the Johnny Cupcakes had that cool vinyl. I don't know. They're that's good. true. It's good. Um, but Roto Fuji is a very cool store, and that's cool that he's stopping by there. Yeah, definitely. That's And while you're there, you can get one of those Rotomatics. Make oh, your own little... Yeah. And, who you know, the color they have Six that day dollars. might be exclusive. You never know. I saw... I think Luke Chu posted... A picture on Instagram of I want to say it was like a burgundy, like a deep reddish winish color. I think the version. colors vary oh, all so the time. Cool. So very cool. So what'd you get? I got the cool little fairy. Cute. Okay, so when I saw her picture, 
I didn't give a crap about her, but in person she's kind of cooler. Like she's got like a, a torn little, little wrap, little dress. wrap as a yeah wrap, and then she's got these wings. I like the wings. I'm not sure what else you do with the wings, besides that. And you could totally use your face for like a little hippie fest because it's got like a flower on the cheek. Oh yeah, I got the Errol Flynn eating a pretzel. <laughs> Mine came with an extra feather, though. That was, I don't, they don't usually come with we'll extra stick pieces. Stick it in your hat and call you Yankee Doodle. But he has an extra feather. Um, I think... <laughs> I don't play with a pretzel. So it's clearly like an Oktoberfest kind of a guy. Where's his beer, then? If he is a man, where is his mustache and beard? He has a mustache. Well, where is his beard? <laughs> I think you could use that face to make a really great Carrie Elwes. Yeah. From, like, Men in Tights or Princess Bride. So Princess Bride figure right that's there. That's good. Should, can we open one more each real quick? Sure. Because these, these are little... Do you guys know the secret to opening these? Did we tell them already? Pull the back. Uh, if you open... I, I've always had trouble opening these. Eight series later. If you pull up this back seam, it has to be on, if you're looking at it, the right-hand side. It won't tear on the left-hand side very well. But if you tear the right-hand side every time, like butter. That's right, I said that. Jeez. Oh, you just made a reference older than half of our audience. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I didn't. <laughs> Come on. Our audience isn't that young. Some of them are. Well, that was a treat for the, for the oldies like me. <laughs> oh, this one's got a lot of pieces. I got the skier. She's gonna ski. Don't know why I'm singing. What, what is this? Oh, I like her. I actually need the directions on this one. What? Look at these awesome, know. like, magenta skis. Everybody's well, he came with these two little gray pieces. I was like, what do I do with that? What do you think you do with them? Well, apparently he stands on them. <laughs> Are they How weights? They Maybe they're up, weights. The so you've got to put the skis back to back to fit in the hand, I'm assuming. That's pretty I cool. A diving bell. So not how you do the skis. What's oh, you the, got the uh, diver, that's awesome. What's the artist that did that Ferg? Is it Kenny Wong? Is that the artist? Oh. The, the artist that did the Ferg uh, squat with the bell, the diving bell? You can make a little version oh, of that. Oh, yeah. Huh. Or you could just make, like, you know, any old-timey movie. It's cool. I like it. Good ones. That's not how that goes. I've apparently never skied before because I was trying to put the little things in her hand upside down. Those are called ski poles. Yes. Well, when they go up in the air, they are called a weapon. <laughs> yes. Look at it. She's all, Whoa, I'm ready to ski in these. that so much cooler. Didn't they have a skier before? Yes. I don't remember the ski poles coming with it. Um, I think they you did. You know, though, I only kept the snowboarders, so I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken, too. There may not have been a skier. There may have more than that. Doing okay. tricks like you see in, like, SSX Tricky. SSX Tricky 3? Or 1? <laughs> Do you pick the girl when you play that game? I do, actually. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. Enough Lego. Let's get on to reviews. This is the one I would have played with as a kid. Because it's got a thing to slide around. This is why he likes Boba Fett. All Boba right. Fett, where? What are we doing? Uh, I was kidding about the let's get away from Lego. Because there's more Lego. First up, we have these things. Oh, hey, look Yay. at that. Perfect timing. Perfect timing to put our minifigures in. So these are newish Lego minifigure display cases. These are by a company called Schilling. They're cool. I mean, they're really nicely made. They're like a really sturdy plastic. Uh, this large version here holds 16 figures, and it's $23. The smaller versions hold eight figures. Right? Eight figures? Yeah. And those ones go for $15. They both come in black, yellow, red, and blue. There might be other colors, but I think that was just the standard colors that they come in. And I know you can pick these up at Toys R Us. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Target? Maybe Walmart? Are you... Do you need some help? Do you need a grown-up? I don't want to break it. <laughs> so I'm going to watch you do it first. Oh, is that what's going on here? Here, you take this off. I'll, I'll take that. Also need to thank Ben for bringing these over. It's got a little hole. 
Um, okay. I just, it wasn't, I didn't want to break there's it. There's a button. I didn't want to get yelled at. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that's, that's pretty simple. You just. Pretty genius. Fold that. There's no problems. Yeah. You don't have to. Look at this. It comes with these giant bricks. Oh, mine didn't come with that. Only the big one. So you can connect them. Oh. So it's like giant. If you had more bricks. Blocks. So you need more of the large ones. Or they could be stands. If you don't have other giant ones, it doesn't really make sense. Oh, no, that doesn't mean. I was going to say you could put them facing. That would be dumb. These aren't really useful you that need, I can see. I guess you just need more bricks. A degree, a technical degree? Or you could just stack them like that. Let's see how the figures fit. Oh, nice. Hey, look at, let's open the door, watch. It's that easy. That's actually a really nice, nicely made case. So the skier will have to, oh, she can go in sideways. And the, one of the cool things is that each slot comes with a little four oh, by that's six. separate? <laughs> four oh. by six white plate. So you could put your figures on, you could pose them, you could do a little scene or whatever, then you could slide them back in. Or if you don't want it in there at all, just take it out and you've got a flat shelf. Or you don't have to use these black bases that they come with and you can just put the figure right down on there. That's right. You or could... can you get these, are these standard bricks? Yes. So plates. you can change out the colors. Those are plates. That's still a brick. So you could change out the color. You could. You could totally put in matching yellow or matching red. So that's neat. It's a nice, nice thing. How's your guy fit? Uh, it fits great. I guess I should use that, that button feature. The other cool thing is since, well, she's not on there, but since it's, since the characters are actually put on a plate, you could totally twist it around if you need to. Take it to. to your friend's house. Take it to your friend's house and play with it. That's our new slogan. <laughs> that's a long slogan. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but that's what she said. Oh. I... All right, these are cool. I would recommend them. I don't understand the, this. The only problem is this is going to get expensive because every series of mini of collectible minifigures has 16 figures. They released series 8. Series 9 is coming soon. Oh, look, you can hang them on the wall. Well, probably did you say that? I did not say that yet. They have little wall hanging holes for your to screw them into the wall. I don't know what these are. Don't, don't worry about it. Ignore them. Just take them away. That's, look, those are dumb. You make a cross and you do something else. Oh, look with at it that! Later. You could do that. X. Xed. I'm a genius. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, oh. these are. So with eight series. Oh. That makes a lot more sense now. Wow, we're stupid. Wow, we are figuring things out as we go around this place. <laughs> I get it. Finally. Okay. Oh, I am dumb. <laughs> I can't find buttons. You, you're really good at breaking toys, though. I could break it if you want me to. No, I'm going to take this away from George <laughs> before he breaks it. Anyway, very cool. Could get very expensive. Just the collectible minifigs alone would require... Oh, it's right on the back of the package. Eight large, <laughs> eight large displays. And then if you want to collect other minifigures, yes, yes, you can stack them. But do you see why you put the feet down? Because if you stack it tall... It's going to be wobbly, so you put the feet oh, on the so bottom one, it, right. and then they won't fall over. Because we all have shelf space for that. Cool. If you collect minifigures, they're really nice. Expensive, though. Seems kind of dumb. Well, what would be a better price for these? I wouldn't. I would just put my figures on a shelf. So no price is a good price for you? Not for that. I don't, like, I don't see the point in that. So basically you hate that. But it does keep them dust-free. Well, probably at least dust, dust less. less dust. What else do we have? We have this crazy collectible from Biff Bang crazy Pow. Collectible. This is a seven inch scale resin bobblehead of K9 from Doctor Who. The fourth doctor. From the fourth doctor, which is a million years ago. One million years ago. It looks to me... Since time is wibbly-wobbly and timey-wimey, it could have been a million years looks ago. Looks to me he's around the 70s, <laughs> right? If I had to guess. 
I don't uh, know that for would sure. be about right late 70s or late judging 80s? by those sideburns and hair I would say the 70s what's on the back of the box garbage Here, give me that. there's a pretty cheesy like simple box yeah it's really thin but you don't really any cares it's a box throw it away yeah who cares so I believe they had these at comic-con and I know that entertainment earth will be getting these in January I want to say this piece goes for $15 I'm a little weirded out that it's a resin bobblehead. Uh, what? I don't know. It looks like there's like battery corrosion in here. What are you talking about? Battery corrosion or just... Or does oh. someone hock a loogie on this one? Ugh. What is... Th so there's his bobblehead action. Look at it go. Look at him bobble. You know what's funny is I don't remember canine's head does it bo I don't think it really moves that much. Like it... Turns and well, makes bobbleheads aren't real. Well, I guess realistic. all bobbleheads aren't very realistic. So this, to me, this little wire bit, it's a little metal piece that sticks out. I feel like it's gonna break off very easily if you move this around much. It's kind of just for sitting on your shelf. All right, we get it. It bobbles. What happened? What is this? I don't know. The resin's leaching or something gross it really does it looks like somebody like got frosting on it or something frosting gross resin frosting it just this would be so cool in like pvc would it yeah canine's rad you got a problem with canine you got a problem with me well i mean if it's just gonna sit on your shelf anyway then i guess who cares what it's made out of yeah but because it's resin i feel like it makes resin reacts and works with paint differently Every material does, and I don't like the way, way resin usually looks when it's painted. And this weird metallic, well, it's sort of metallic, doesn't, maybe it's just really crappy paint. I think it is. It's like, it's like falling apart. The resin, or the paint, is like corroded. And it's like, I wouldn't put this out as a finished piece to me. Like, pieces of this still need Look, to be sanded. Look, he agrees. Oh, sad. Does he go the other way? Oh, he does. This is my new thing. If you ask me a question, I'm going to be like, nope. All right. For the Doctor Who fan in your life, 15 bucks. Check it out. It's heavy. It's very heavy. There's that word again. For Ben. All right. We also have a guest review. Let's hear it. It's actually of something that we just did, but we can't have enough people doing cool stuff. And it's a good product. So let's go check in with Eat More Toys, taking a look at the Bite Size Ice Cream Man. Hi, my name is Eat More Toys, and today we are reviewing the Ice Cream Man Bite Size Blind Box by Brother Ford. Here's the packaging with the ratios of the different cones and ice cream cones you can get. And the packaging is really pretty amazing because you just push it out, you have a box, no lock or tape, open that little sucker up, and you pull out the toy in a plastic bag, and these are hand-casted resin. There's only 450 made. I pulled this one. This is the oil slick, and this is the vanilla. These are based on the original ones that were 7.5 inches. These measure up from 2.5 to 3 inches, and they run for $15 at Brother Ford Industries. So if you want one, please go get it. Support great artists, and Enjoy your summer. Ham nam nam nam. Ham nam nam nam. Ham nam 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 nam. Yay! He got the one you wanted. Yes, the red, white, and blue one. Um, and that video has 100% less nipples than the last time you did a review. 100% less. I think it actually has the same amount of nipples, but not as evident. Um, thank I hope. You. I mean, I hope you didn't have that. Thank you for doing the review. Um, and if anybody wants to send in a review to put on the show, uh, we'll be more than happy to play it. Um, just try and keep them relatively, you know, short under three minutes, like three to four minutes if you can. Whatever. Yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter if you got a long review. It'll be a long show. Where do they send it? Um, info at toybreak.com or you could just post it on YouTube and send us the link. That um, works too. And that way we can just go and download it. Um, and if they're going to use music, what kind should they use? Don't use music. Best just, idea. Just don't. Just don't put music in it. Um, 
if you Copyright if you issues. need to do music, make sure that you go and get pod safe music and make sure that you credit it in the video. Yeah. Just don't put music in it. It's easier. <laughs> All right. That is it for reviews. Done. Thank you, Eat More Toys. Uh, let's move on to events. Would you like to start us off? Temple of Kung Fu Release Party. Celebrating the release of Series 1 of Bruce Lee's Temple of Kung Fu by Jeremy Mad Maddell at Toy Art Gallery in Los Angeles, California, September 22nd, toyartgallery.com. I don't think I've ever heard you say Mad Maddell, or heard anybody say Mad Maddell at the same time. It's funny. Why? I either call him Mad or Jeremy, like Mad Maddell. It was Mad. No, I know, but it was funny. It's just, it was funny. Okay. Also coming up... The same day, actually, PowerCon, He-Man, She-Ra, and Thundercats convention at the Torrance Marriott South Bay in Torrance, California, September 22nd and 23rd, thepower-con.com. Oh, and we didn't make it to Kamikaze last week because it was just a crazy week, but we will be at PowerCon, promise. Yes, and go there and see the horsemen. I think pre-tickets might be sold out. Well, then don't go, I, I think guess. you could still go. Oh, can you still get there? Um, like, Thepower-con.com. There's a lot of cool artists involved with like all those things that we mentioned. He-Man, She-Ra, Thundercats, that whole thing. Um, artists from the cartoons, from, from the You could come get some figures, of the new Spy like, Monkey creation stuff. The new Spy Monkey toys will be there. We'll talk about that more after the show, though. Uh, also coming up, BrickCon. I can't believe I haven't even talked about that yet. Lego Fan Convention at the Seattle Center in Seattle, Washington, October 6th and 7th, BrickCon.org. Now, is that open to the public, there. though? Those days, yes. Okay. Private convention is the two days before, and then those two days, Saturday and private. Sunday, are public private. convention. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the private part. It's on double? What? what? <laughs> New York Comic Con at the Javits Center in New York City. This is October 11th to the 14th. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> New York Comic Con dot com. Are we going to say we're going to go to that and not go? No, we are going to go to that. We are going to be gonna go. there. Uh, we will be there. By the way, anybody who went to Kamikaze, can you let us know how it was? Because I've heard like one review. Nobody ever talks about that show after they go. I think that's the first rule of Kamikaze. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Also, JPK Star Wars show at Yo-Yo Mart in New York City on October 11th. JohnPaulKaiser.com for more information. Happens to be same time as New York Comic Con, so you can go check out those new customs of his. Oh, yeah. A postcard from New Yorkshire. It's... <laughs> Why are you talking so deep? Exhibition of new artwork by Dr. <laughs> a at My Plastic Heart in New York City. And again, this is at the same time as New York Comic Con. It's Convenient. Friday, October 11th to November 12th. MyPlasticHeart.com. So the opening is Friday. Dr. A will be in attendance. So if you're going to New York Comic Con, go to that as well. Nice. Are you sure? Because I think the 11th is Thursday. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, you threw out a day. I thought not, the I thought that the opening was sure. Friday, though. Is it Thursday? Look it up on Doctor A's site. Go to spookypop.com <laughs> and look it up yourself. Because I don't or just do research. go to my plastic my plastic my plastic heart, heart my plastic heart both days and just show up and say hey what's going on. Go to my plastic heart at New York Comic Con and say hey when is this show that I'm supposed to go and to go and they're either going to be like oh it's tonight or they're going to be like oh you missed it. Or, oh, it's tomorrow. Or it's tomorrow. <laughs> so, that'll happen. Or find Dr. A at New York Comic Con and be like, hey, when's your show? And then give him a hug. <laughs> We're terrible. <laughs> we are terrible. All right, let's call it quits on episode 232. Before we call it quits. It. Wait, there's more what? Before we call it quits on New York Comic Con show what? episode We're 22. not at New York Comic Con. Um, Is it Designer Con yet? Earlier you mentioned, when we were talking about donations, you were like, some people don't watch the show right away. That's true. So I'm going to give to those people that watch it right away, like the first one that Let's watches help. this. Well, the first one that watches this and wants this thing that I'm about to show them. Well, I want it. Um, you could just come to the forum 
under this episode's number, whatever number this is. 232. And just say, hey, I want that poster. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to you. I'm um, technically the first person who watches it, so I want that. Well, oh, no, you'll have I to can't post. do that. I don't qualify. Uh, this is by Brad Raider. Um, he does Battle Babies. We've had them on the show before, a long time ago. Oh, I know what this is. Uh, he made a really cool art print of one of his Battle Baby pieces, and he was kind enough to send it in. How cool is that? Uh, and to share with you guys. So... All you got to do is come over, tell me you want the Battle Babies print, be the first person to do it, boom, send it to you. Boom. Easy. Peasy. And uh, don't forget to Easy check out breezy. Battle Babies on Etsy. Um, you can probably find them on Facebook and get a link to the Etsy because I don't know what it I is. I bet there's a link on toybreak.com That's, under episode 232. Uh, there's probably that. Just saying. So go get your own little Battle Babies if you don't win this one. Or, at, dude, he posted one up the other day that was like... The craziest thing I've ever seen. It was like epic battle fighting babies. Yeah. Water. There was water. There was a shark. There was. There was water and a shark. It was insane. So you should follow him. Follow his stuff online. And I, you can I see would. These just because if you put, see him on Facebook, you get to see him all before they go on Etsy. You know what else you can do online is save money with Toy Break coupons all over the web. You can go to the show notes at toybreak.com to get details about exactly where to go and exactly what to type to save money. Thank you, Toy Break. And thank you to our sponsors who graciously provided those coupon codes. You can also, while you're at toybreak.com, watch past episodes, join the contests, and the exhilarating toy discussions in our form. You can so check out the goodies page for freebies like free. Toy Break paper toys of us. There's three different kinds. There's one by Alexander Gwynn, one by Zucane, and one by Castle for it. Very all yes, get them all. You can also help support the show just by doing what you do every day, shopping on Amazon. Go to toybreak.com, click the Amazon link on the left hand side, and then do your shopping as normal. That's it. We get a little little kickback from Amazon for that, and we really appreciate it. It's a, it's a huge help to the show. You can also do what Mike did, and you can call and leave us a voicemail at eight one eight Am I Good. You can let us know when Johnny Cupcakes is coming to your town. Mike is a giant fan. Like one of those box fans that go in the window with a head. <laughs> that was terrible. That's what I picture when he was talking. That was terrible. Like an old garbage pail kid. <laughs> you can also email us at info at toybreak.com. That's where you would send the link to your own video reviews if you would like them included in Toy Break. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toy break. You can check out our toy briefs and full episodes every week, all the time, multiple times a week on youtube.com slash toy break you can follow us on twitter and the instagram a lot of stuff goes up on youtube that you don't see on this show so That's get over true. there get over there and watch the extras i'm at aileen gaspar i'm at george gaspar and now here's your toy rant mm -hmm. so here i am at san diego comic-con 2012 i got the ex san diego exclusive oh wait a minute no i'm not i'm at toys r us way after san diego comic-con hey entertainment earth I'm not going to buy your exclusives at Comic-Con if I can go buy them at Toys R Us for half the cost later. $7.99, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Exclusive? This was $15 at Comic-Con. It's now $7.99 at Toys R Us two months later. Shame on you.